Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just creating a baby block, and help, hopefully you'll make better choices on the, I don't like that C. But this is a pretty fun project, pretty easy to do. Just take your rectangle tool or your square tool, holding down your control button and make a perfect square. Then go to your extrude tool, which is under your drop shadow flyout, and just re extrude this a pretty good distance so you can see you know that it is extruded we'll call that good enough now you need to select it all of it go up to range break extruded group apart then we need to delete these lines that you would not see if this was a real box then I'm going to move over a little bit and I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in this and I'm going to cursor over I nudge it over two inches with my arrow I'm going to left click right click and I'm going to make a 0.33 contour to the inside then I'm going to grab the whole thing select it all control K and break it apart grab the inner one and put it back it went back exactly that two inches then take your text tool and just make the letter A or whatever choice you want and I would play around with your text doesn't really matter what size you do because uh, we're going to it's going to change when we put it in the perspective so just have it close to your item maybe zoom in click on your A go up to under effects and add perspective take that corner and put it it should just snap right to it if you have snap to object on This one's probably going to be the hardest one because you're, no, not really. And I don't think we're exactly on that one. But then you can actually click on your contour line and take it away. There's your A. And the B would be the same thing or the C, whatever you're going to put on top, a number, a letter. Take your smart fill tool, fill it in, nudge it out of the way. Left click, right click, contour it. Now the contour is going to be quite a bit bigger because it's a, a funny effect on top. And then select it all, control K, and break it apart. Move it over. And this is where you'd want to play around with your contour and your, your extrusion. Uh, let's put the letter B up there. And once again, it doesn't matter what size because you're going to stretch it to the contour. Let's zoom in here a little bit, grab our B, effects, add perspective, put that corner there, that corner there. It really makes it look funny to you. put the fourth node on the corner. And then just take away your contour line by hitting delete. And then the C or whatever number you're going to put in the front really doesn't have a contour because it's almost flat on but you can make a couple of those and then what I would suggest is I made those lines hairline make them black and make them thicker than hairlines you know whatever your personal preference uh, click scale with object that's a little bit thick and I think it actually changed our text and it did so what you could do on that is cursor it out of the way for two inches Grab this box, right click, and we'll make it not quite as thick this time, but scale with object as you make it bigger to lower. Then just take your object and just cursor it back so you don't change your text. Anyway, and then once it's grouped together, you could make several of these and have them, you know, like they're rolling around or something. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.